right? Architects need to stop treating themselves like, uh, you know, and that's the problem, you know, all this free work and I'll come and meet you. The perception that, not, not in this group here, but the perception that architects outside this group have, the problem is it does work sometimes, but the perception is that if I go and give away free advice, then I'm showing how good I am and I'm being nice and I'll engender that feeling of reciprocation and, you know, they'll like me and, and all that. But the reality of the situation in many cases, not all cases, but in many cases, you get your brains picked for free. There's no need to hire you for work once you've given away all that information. Um, they don't respect you particularly. You look desperate. Um, half the time you buy them lunch. It's you, just, need to, you need to have a line. Sorry, Richard. I just You need yeah. to have a line ready for when he asks you to show him how good you are. What, what, do, you, what do you mean by that? Exactly. Well, you know, he may he may say, you know, I, you know, I think those words Richard said, you know, those are really important. You know, show me how good you are. You know, like kind of one line. What's your equation. what's your you know what's your big idea for this? Yes. Yeah. You know, it may come out in any any way, but you know, what's you, so unique about you? That sort of thing. Yeah. You, you or what? What? How do you think this project should be? There there may be a lot. A, a request for an idea while you're talking and yeah. challenge and you need to be ready to 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 answer that in some way oh right you can answer what that in, yeah. right in all different ways but one way that you could answer it is that you want to be you want to give professional advice just sort of referring to like what richard was talking about before is that if you don't have the full information you're you're not an architect who just does a napkin sketch you're more responsible than that. I think it is really helpful and uh, I've noted it down here what Richard was saying that talking about this is what's going to happen in the next phase when I'm doing the LCC. So it's kind of talking about a process and it's kind of a really natural way to introduce that now we're chatting and then we can, okay, the next step, we move into the next process, which is an actual phase that I'm doing something and that will be charged. Yeah. And I tell you what, it's always a good idea to do that, like let people know up front, here's the, yeah. we're going to meet, we might meet for lunch or I might, you know, it might be at the start of the lunch meeting and say, hey, let me just sketch out. This is the only sketch I'll be doing, but let me just sketch out how I work. And you can just draw a series of boxes. You go, right, you know, happy to, you know, box number one or circle number one is meet and greet and understand the project. Circle number two is where we do some, you know, early investigation, and that's paid. This this one's free. This one's paid. Then I move into, you know, uh, design. Then we move into this. Then we move into this. And so he can see your process, and he can also see in box number one it's free, but it's you know it's just it's just meet and greet and understand the project. Box number two is where you go away and do investigation analysis. And he go, that's how I work. Does that make sense? And he goes, yep. And so when he, if, if he gets into a meeting and he starts going, what about this? What about that? What about this? You go, yeah, yeah. I mean, good questions. That, that would happen in step number two. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, to avoid and, answer and giving free advice. And all that stuff. Yeah, I'd cover that. And, you know, you're asking questions, which Red I will cover in phase number two. If you want to proceed with me in phase number two, that's all that stuff will be addressed there. And he says, oh, but can't you just, you go, yeah, well, I can at a high level. I can't for your specific project, but, but in general, what you're saying is right. It's probably going to be fine and you probably be able to do this and probably that, but I can't say with any certainty until I do a proper investigation. A proper diagnosis and i'm not doing a diagnosis with you at the table <laughs> you know it's best if you yeah. keep your clothes on <laughs> and you might even joke like that i mean you, you could joke like that and like all oh, right yes i've got to keep the clothes on yes you, you um, could say ideas are not like dessert <laughs> that's right <laughs> I mean, you can just say, even if even it would, even if it doesn't require investigation, even if you know the answer anyway, 
it might, you know, it's just, I would need to investigate that and I'd be able to give you a definitive answer on that. But that would happen, you know, when we move into this phase here, which is the next step. And if you've shown them up front, and, and the other thing, the other way of doing it, you know, you'd either do it on a napkin at the table, or you could send them an email in advance with just outlines, you know, just so you know, uh, here's how I work. I work through a number of different steps. These are the phases I move through. Um, phase one, phase two, phase three, phase four. And, he, and, and you put down that step number two is going away and doing diagnosis and, and, and analysis and investigation. That's phase number two. And that's usually around 1,500 pounds to two and a half thousand pounds. And phase number three is this and phase number four is that. So you just send him an email in advance. And if he's got an issue with that, great. Let me know now. Yeah. Yep. 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 But you need to know, uh, don't muck around. There will be people who muck you around big time. And if anyone has an issue with that, then they're not a prospect. Anyone who's serious and wants to engage you in a professional sort of way has no issue with paying you to go away and do expert research and analysis. Yeah, I agree. If anyone's got an issue with that, well, then, okay, you've saved yourself 10 hours of doing free work because... Yeah, you know, they don't want to pay for analysis and research. Well, how the hell does an architect do a proper job if, if they can't do analysis and research? Oh, you got to do it for free because because other people, okay, well, I don't do it for free. A doctor doesn't do a diagnosis for free. A lawyer doesn't, an accountant doesn't, and I, and I don't. You might be able to find an architect who does. And if that's what you're after, that that's that's fine, but it's not me. You know, I work professionally and I get paid for my expertise and advice. And uh, that's how I work. And it's up to them. And they may not be, yeah, I'm not saying this guy, but uh, it's just a general thing, isn't it? Yeah. We've got to treat ourselves with respect. Yeah. 